In question 12, we're told that the score in a quiz game is calculated as follows. We're told that a correct answer gets you three points, no answer gets you zero points, and an incorrect answer gets you minus one points. We're told that the quiz consists of 12 questions and that John scores 18 points. So we're asked how many correct answers could he have given, bearing in mind that there are 12 questions and he scored 18 points. So we have five options, A through E, and we have to select all of them that apply. So how many could have been, how many correct answers could he have given out of this list? So the best way to think about this is to convert the information given here into points to see which are viable. So we'll start with five being correct. Well, five correct, correct points score you three points. So we know that immediately he, he must have 15 points from correct answers. Now there's no other way to make points in the game other than getting correct answers, since these are zero and these are minus one. So he won't ever reach the 18 points that he ends up with. So since he can't make 18, this must be wrong. So A is wrong, let's move on to B. So six correct answers, well multiplied by three, that means he's got 18 points. Is that possible after 12 questions? So if he got six correct with his six questions, if he has zero incorrect answers, and the remaining six he gives no answer, then this is a possible permutation. Let's move on to C, where we have 7 correct. Again, multiply by 3, that's 21 points. And you can say that he can have 3 incorrect, take him down to 18, because each one is minus 1. And then you can say two, the remaining 2 would be no answer, and that gives you 18. And then let's move on to D, which is 8 correct. Multiplying by 3, you get 24 points. You can say you'd need 6 incorrect to get you down to 18. However, since we have 8 correct here, 8 plus 16 is already 14 questions, so at minimum you need 14 questions. However, we only have 12 questions in the quiz, so this is not viable. Finally, we have E, which for a similar reason would multiply to 27 points, and there's no way you can get down to 18 without needing many more questions than 12. So E is not viable for the same reason as D. And that tells us that our answer is that B and C are the only two that we can select as being viable.